Mark Duane here from markduane.com and today we're going to be taking a look at my email copy dyno review. So stick around. If you are looking for new ways to succeed through email marketing, then you're in the right place. Be sure to watch this entire video as we guarantee it will be worth your time. Okay, here we are into the members area of Email Copy Dino. And what I'm going to do is explain what Email Copy Dino is. And then I'm going to go through these tabs over here. And after this is a demo by Neil Napier. He's going to explain some things that I'm going to miss. So I highly recommend that you watch that demo. Anyway, what Email Copy Dino is, is a series of pre-written emails written by professional copywriters in a sequence that you can tailor make to fit your business by answering some questions. And you do that by pushing the create emails tab. And you got these different categories to choose from, uh, list nurturing, webinar emails, affiliate promotion, cart abandonment, re-engagement, discount offers, product launch, B2B cold emails, JV invite email, soap opera sequence. And how you do that is you push this and then you have to answer a series of questions. So it tailor makes these email sequences to fit your business. But I'm not going to do that because it's not hooked up to my autoresponder. So I'm not going to do that. In the demo after this, he explains that. So I highly recommend that you watch that. Well, here's your saved emails. And I have review access, so other people have been in here, but you got campaign ID, created date, 
email type, profile name, action is where you can edit and you can delete. And here's your saved answers because it asks you a series of questions and it saves your answers. This is where it saves them at. And here's your integrations. This is where you can integrate it with your AWeber, get response, a send lane, your email autoresponder, whatever one you got. And here's the training. I highly recommend that you watch the training. Here's where you got support. If you have a question or a problem, there's the support tab. Here's the settings. That's just where you set up your profile and stuff. But anyway, this is a email copy dyno. And after this, um, I recommend that you watch the email copy dyno demo by Neil Napier. So anyway, if you like my videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, push that notification bell and make a comment. And if you want my exclusive custom bonuses, just push a link somewhere on this page, go to my bonus page, push the button on my bonus page, purchase this product, and you'll get access to all my exclusive custom bonuses. Well, anyway, we're going to move on into that email copy de dyno demo. I'll see you in a minute. There, this is Neil Napier and along with Patrick and Nim, I want to welcome to this demo of Email Copy Dino. Email Copy Dino is a straightforward application that helps you create your email sequences or single emails if you want by just answering a few questions. Now we are different from other tools out there in that we give you the option for tonality and we also give you the option to rewrite your emails based on our pre-written formats. So let's go ahead and start creating a new email and I'll show you exactly how this works. When you create a new email, you have a few different kinds of emails that you can create based on what you need them for. You've got list nurturing emails, webinar emails, affiliate promotion emails, card abandonment, re-engagement discount offers, product launch, B2B called emails, and JV invite email. So let's say if you wanted to run emails where you could invite people to a webinar, and uh, you could get them to sign up on an opt-in form. Let's pick one of the two options. You can either choose soft or aggressive based on your approach. I'm going to choose soft in this case. Click on next, and now you're ready to answer a few questions. I'm going to fill this up quickly and bring you back. So now I've filled in a few answers for a webinar that I'm setting up, which is in this case, Patrick inviting me to present a webinar on email marketing. Once you're done with that, Click next, and then you can answer a few more questions. Let's do that. 
and now I've filled some more answers in. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to click on write email sequence and this is going to generate five different emails for me. Now, these emails are good to go, but I can edit them, I can change them as I see fit and I can then also queue them into my autoresponder if one is connected. Now do note, not all autoresponders have the feature where we can actually push out your emails to them. And if that happens, you can always export the emails out in a document format or you can pass them over to your VA or a team member if you want. And you can see we've got all different emails over here with different headlines as well. If I want to, I can click rewrite and this will rewrite this particular email sequence with slightly different approach. So it's still the same thing. We're still asking people to sign up to a webinar, but we are taking a slightly different approach in this case. Once you're happy with it, you can save it and you can then exit as well. All the saved emails are saved under view saved emails where you can check when they were created and exactly what kind of email type these were. You also have the opportunity to go into saved answers and reuse the answers that you previously used. For example, I can edit this one and run this sequence again. If I want to, I can go back to create email and create different kind of email campaigns as well. Now do note that depending on which email campaign you're choosing, there might be more questions that need answering. But the good thing is that you can use these answers over and over again. And when you fill all the answers in, you will have a really thorough email sequence. What you can also do, as I mentioned previously, is push these emails into your autoresponder. Just go to integrations, connect one of these autoresponders, and you will be able to push out your emails into the autoresponder. Now, like I said, do note that not all autoresponder give you the capability to push out your emails into them, in which case you can use the export feature and you can pass it on to someone in your team or you can add them into your email autoresponder manually. If you need any help, you can click on training and you can check out the other training videos as well as reach out to us via support desk. This is Neil Napier and along with Patrick Enyam, thank you so much for watching this video. So, if you want to get the best possible deal, please check out the link below.